Good evening, everybody. Josh is all great to real estate property management. Handyman Services. Hope you're having a fantastic evening. Tonight, we're taking an extra late walk with the ocean. Man. It's almost out on 9.30. Yeah. Better late than never, right? <laughs> My dog is so spoiled. I mean, seriously. Anyway, so... Uh, we're going to continue our little series of stories from the trenches. The realtor life, in other words. And I'm going to try to go as chronologically in order as possible because there's so many stories. You really have to take it like slowly to figure out what happened in right order. Otherwise, you'll forget so many amazing stories that are just great. And you, you really, they need to be shared. <laughs> so, all right. So, I think I shared this story before, but, you know, maybe it gets better with time. Who knows? So, this is, ah, let's say, four or five months into my brand new real estate career. And working for Prudential American Associates at the time, our office was right off of 59th Avenue in the 101 in Glendale. And... Uh, right now it's a hair salon actually. Prudential being the awesome kind of bigger company it was had teams, right? So the first thing you wanted to do was work really, really hard and become part of the Yahoo team. Once you became part of the Yahoo team, that's like that time that was like the big internet site before, well, Realtor and Zillow and everybody else kind of took off. But then you had the corporate reload team, and last but not least, you had the bank owned team. And the bank owned team was really, really cool, but unfortunately, I mean, as you know, you're probably being a realtor, you know that if you're gonna have those kind of leads handed to you, you're gonna pay a decent size split. But hey, man, it was awesome. So the re, um, REO team was having a big, open house event for all of our listings and so you got placed in a random drawing as to which one you were gonna get <laughs> and the reason I pointed out that our office was off 59th Avenue and the 101 because you had homes all over the place and I was given a home in Avondale and think okay great you know cool so I am a young eager realtor so the moment you hear okay we're gonna be doing an open house event I'm thinking okay snacks tables you know all kinds of good fun but they're like no 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 the power is not gonna be on on the property um, so basically it's gonna get warm you really just want to bring some water, some flyers, because there's just going to be people coming in and out, you know. It's not worth doing it up. So it's like, okay, fine. So anyway, I show up bright and early as we're supposed to, and I have this nice two-story home. I'm like, cool, man, right on. You know, so on the, uh, well, it's on the corner, and so it's a nice size lot, and across the street you have homes, and on the right hand side you just have you know the road you come in on and then there's a big fence on the other side so i'm figuring there's like you know it looked like a school or something because it looked like a big field anyway so put out all my signs and because it was the brillo open house one you actually had to use their signs and they only gave you a certain amount of signs because I don't know. There were just a bunch of rules and regulations with this thing. So that's neither here nor there. But put out the signs and come back and open up the door, open up, open up everything and ready to go. So I go upstairs and it's really, really dark upstairs. So trying to find windows to open up and, you know, go to the bedrooms the hallway finally make my way to the master bedroom and I open up the big old window right there and I look out from the second floor over that fence that looks like a school or a park on the other side and it is a giant cemetery 
Uh, instantly, my heart just goes thump. What was a beautiful two-story bank-owned home. I mean, it had the kitchen. It had, it appeared, I mean, it was in good shape. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to be able to sell this home. I'm going to get so many leads. And yeah, so anyway, first person comes in. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, this home's great. It's, it's, I mean, for a bank going home, I mean, all you need to do is probably do paint and carpet. That's all you really need. I mean, the kitchen looked good. Cabinets are there. I mean, the, all, all the plumbing looked there. The AC unit was there. And so I'm all, you know, tell, telling everybody about the home. They're like, oh, I really like it. I really like it. And then they get upstairs and they go through the bedrooms, you know, the guest bedrooms, the guest bathrooms and stuff. And then they make their way to the end, you know, where they master bedroom is every single one as soon as they looked out the master window which of course was wide open because there wasn't any power or anything on and of course you have to disclose anyway but you know i had the window wide open to just add light to the bedroom <laughs> so everybody walked over and it was hilarious the good news was with that event because it was held by the bank owned place and we had about 30 different open house open houses involved I got a lot of sign-ins, <laughs> but uh, can't say I had anybody interested in purchasing that home. You know, you live, you learn. That's an experience. All right. Talk to you guys later.